Okay, so we have another example, another graph, y equals negative 4 ninths times x minus 15 squared plus 100. How do I know that equation works? Well, let's go to our graphing function here, y equals negative 4 ninths times x minus 15 squared plus 100. Okay, let's graph it, but here's a problem. The graph is not entirely within our window, so we need to adjust our window settings. Okay, look at the graph that we drew in class. The x minimum value is 0. The x maximum value is 30. That's where the projectile or the firework lands. Okay, the y minimum, right? We can't go underground, so we're going to say 0. That's the ground. Okay, and then the y maximum, it tells you it's 100 meters, so I'm going to put 100. So let's graph it. And look at that, it looks just like what we graphed in class. Now let's verify some points to make sure that our equation that we came up with is the correct one. So let's pick some key points using the trace function. Okay, the vertex is at 15, 100, so x equals 15, y equals 100, perfect. The y-intercept is at 0, so x equals 0, y equals 0, indeed. Okay, x-intercept's at 0, 0, okay, same thing. Okay, x-intercept the other one at 30 meters, 30, and we get a y value of 0, that checks. So this is a great way, again, to check uh, using your TI-84 that the equation you derive is correct.